Hello everyone. Today we're going to be talking about black and white photography, specifically how to make a very detailed black and white wildlife photo. Hello and welcome to Luminar Coffee Break. I'm Angela Andrew and today's topic is creating a highly detailed black and white wildlife photo. We're going to be working on a photo from Richard Burnaby. He's one of our ambassadors and he captured this awesome photo of these bears. And I just love the interplay between the mama bear and these two baby bears. And I'm going to walk you through how I edited it. We're going to begin here in the templates tab with a black and white wildlife template. And I'm gonna scroll down here and choose one. I like this one called Velvet. It's really, really nice and it gives us a great starting point for this awesome black and white. Let me go ahead and move that over there. Let me go ahead and say hello to Harry, Pat, Joseph. So glad you're able to join me today. Let's go ahead and click over to the Edit tab and make a few more adjustments. I'm gonna start by cropping this. We're gonna go into Composition AI and you'll see that I've already got a crop going here on the screen. It's a four by five ratio and I'm bringing it in a little bit closer, cutting out some of the negative space around the bears. I think it works well and it really draws our attention into the subject. Let me hit return on the keyboard to go ahead and commit that crop. And there we go. So this image is already coming along really nicely. Let's take a look here at our before and the after. Black and white just works so well for this photo. Next thing we're gonna do is go down into our light tool and I'm gonna take go down into the blacks and whites. I wanna darken the blacks a little bit more, give it a little bit more contrast, and maybe pop those whites just a little bit more. The wonderful thing about black and whites is a really wide tonal range. You wanna have something that's really rich and dark, and just a touch of those really bright whites, and that entire range is what gives an image like this interest. Next thing we wanna do is address those details. So the whole concept here is creating a detailed black and white, Let's go down to our details tab and take a look at what we can do. I'm gonna go ahead and bring up those small details just a little bit. And right now I'm really focusing on the fur. The fur is just so wonderful and detailed and sharp. And we wanna make sure that really stands out. I'm also gonna bring up my medium details a bit and my large details a tiny bit and a touch of sharpening here for good measure. And let's take a look here to this off before and after it brings out so much wonderful detail in that bear. But as we're doing this, you'll notice that there's some grain in the background. I believe this was shot at a higher ISO. So by bringing up these details, we're also increasing some of this grain. I don't mind it so much on the bear. It really kind of blends into his fur or her fur rather, but it's kind of making the background look a little bit more gritty than it needs to be. I want to apply these details just to my bears. So I'm going to grab my masking brush, Click on my paint mask and I'm going to draw a quick mask here just over my bears. It's going to be kind of a rough mask, but that's okay. We don't mind if it goes a little bit over the edges. So we want to make sure we get all of those edges of the fur into our mask. So I'm going to go ahead and just draw this over here. Make sure we've got all that beautiful detail inside of our mask. And this way, all of that detail will only be affecting the bears. Go ahead and draw that in. Give me just a second here. All right, almost there, and there we go. Now that detail is only affecting our bears, which I love. But let's take care of a little bit of that noise. I'm gonna go down to our denoise tool, and let's zoom in to even 200% on this background, and you'll see we do have a fair bit of grain that we're working with here. So I'm gonna go ahead and let that finish rendering, there we go. And I'm gonna pull up that luminosity denoise, to smooth out some of that grain. It makes it a lot more pleasant to look at. Let's go ahead and zoom back out. Because we applied noise reduction and a fair bit of it as well, it's also going to mute out some of the detail we just enhanced on our bear. I want that noise reduction really to only apply to our background. So what I'm gonna do is go back up to our details panel, go back into my mask to the ellipses tool here and copy that mask, go down to denoise, into my mask, the ellipses button and paste my mask. Now, if I click here and show my mask, right now it's applying the noise reduction only to the bear. We wanted to do the opposite of that. So I'm gonna go back to the ellipses button, click invert, and now it's gonna apply that noise reduction everywhere but our bears. You can see where I could have gotten in here a little bit better and cleaned that up. 
and I certainly would do that if I was pre uh, preparing this for my portfolio. It's fine for right now though. All right, let's go back into our black and white conversion. The black and white has already been done, but what I wanna do is amp this up a little bit. If we turn off the black and white and take a look at the colors that are in this image, we obviously have some greens and we have some yellows and oranges. So when we turn this back on and go to our luminance settings, we have a few settings here that we can alter to, to show how that black and white's gonna show up. Let's start with our green channel. We can darken that down and lighten that back up. And that's lightening and darkening those greens in the background. I'm gonna lighten those up quite a bit. And then we can do the same with our reds and our yellows, which are gonna impact the bears. You see that's opening up or closing it off. There we go. A little bit more detail there on our bear. And let's do the same thing with our yellows. And just move that around to get a little bit better contrast in your image. And I think that looks absolutely beautiful. Now, one last thing here I wanna do to the bears is I wanna add a little bit of extra pop to the eyes. Um, the eyes are good. If you look closely, there's a catch light in all the eyes, even on the baby's eyes, on the cub's eyes. But I wanna make those a little bit brighter, have them stand out working a little bit more. Let's go to our local masking, choose add and basic. And I'm gonna grab my brush and make my brush nice and small. Be right about there. And I'm just going to paint in over the eyes. So this way, any changes I make are only gonna affect those eyes. Right now it's making those eyes look a little crazy, but let's go ahead and brush this in a little bit more. Give it just a second there. There we go. Brush in a little bit more on this eye here and make sure we don't miss baby over here. Oops, hold on just a second. Give me a moment here. We pop that back open. Sorry about that, guys. Let's see if there's any questions in the chat. Uh, working with details is always fun in Luminar. I totally agree, Gavin. So glad you're able to join us, by the way. Give me just a second. Almost back here. Sorry about that, folks. And let's do this. Pull back up our image here and get rid of that. Sorry guys, my computer's being super slow today. I don't know what's going on. Already had to restart it a couple of times. All right, we're back to our image. Let's go back to our local masking. Our basic instance is still there, which is great. And let's turn that back on to show my mask and continue painting in so we can get those eyes on this cub over here. Paint that in just right there, a little bit right there. And now I'm gonna turn off that show mask so that way it hides that red overlay and I want to bring up the exposure just a tiny bit and bring up the structure to add a bit more detail in those eyes. And that makes the detail in the eyes of the bears really, really come alive. All right, the last thing I wanna do here is add a big soft vignette to really draw us in. The outer edges of the image are still are really bright. So a vignette's gonna kind of soften that and just bring us in to our subjects. I'm gonna go to the vignette tool Grab my amount slider, pull that down to negative 100. Make the size a little bit smaller. Into my advanced settings and bring up the feather for a nice smooth transition. And a bit of inner light, <coughs> excuse me. And let's place that vignette right here over Mama Bear. We wanna make sure that's positioned nicely and that we're getting the babies in here too. I'm gonna actually grab that size and bring that up a little bit more. I think I made it a little too small and just shift this over right about there. I think that's perfect. Now I'll grab my amount slider and pull that back up to the point that it looks natural. We're just very softly darkening those edges. I think that looks great. Close out of choose subject and let's take a look at our before and our after. So I hope you guys like this. I love this photo and I love the interaction of mama being here, protecting her clubs. The cubs are just being silly and having a little tussle on the ground. It's a great photo. And I loved editing it and bringing out all of these fabulous details. So I hope you guys like this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you give us a thumbs up here on YouTube. We always appreciate seeing that. If you have any questions about Luminar AI, pop those into the comments below and I'll do my best to get those answered for you. I want to wish you guys a great day and we'll see you next time. Bye everyone.